Hi friends, Miss Aria here, and thank you so much for watching this video and practicing your violin. Good job. Okay, so for this video, we're gonna go through all the different ways you can practice and prepare for Variation A, the first song in Suzuki Violin, book volume one. So you'll need your violin, a bow, your foot chart, your chopsticks, a animal, a bean bag to balance on your head if you'd like. And before you do all of that, you need to make sure that you have your good bow lines. So find your playing feet, sweep your dino tail, balance your head, strong tree, and then reach like you're going to offer me some goldfish with your pinky side forward and stay like that. Now you can ask a grown up to put the pen or the chopsticks in your hand until they touch the top of your pinky and then angle it towards your thumb without doing anything crazy. And those lines underneath that I just created from the top of my thumb to the corner of my pinky, those are my bow lines. Everyone's lines are a little different, so that's why it's important to measure your own. So I'm gonna take this pen, I'm gonna push that down, and I am not a left-handed person, that's okay. So I made some lines on my uh, fingers by pressing that down. Doesn't have to be pretty. Just making a diagonal line towards my thumb from the top of my pinky. So there's my two lines. And then from there, wherever I would balance a pen without rotating too much rotation of my radius, my thumb bone there, okay, wherever I'd balance the pen, that is where I'm going to put my dot. So that point of contact of my thumb where the pen would just float on me at its balance point, that's where I'm gonna put my dot. Boop, there's my dot. So now I have my bow lines and I have my dot. Okay, now we're ready to start. All right, so now that I showed you the setup, I'm gonna turn this around so that I can face you and you don't see the back side of me because that's more fun. Okay, so step one, would be just a twinkle aerobic. So not even needing your bow lines, okay? You can find your playing feet. Excuse me, forgot my phone here. Find your playing feet, okay? Grab your animal, balance it on your head. Make sure you have a dino tail. Make sure the top of your head and the bottom of your head are balanced like a goldfish bowl. So there's no fish spilling out your nose. No fish spilling out your ear or your ear or the this side of your head. Here we go. <laughs> But if you wanted to do your jellyfish, tuck and tuck a sway, sway, tuck and tuck a back foot, tuck and tuck a smile, tuck and tuck a tuck, tuck, tuck and tuck a tuck, tuck. You could do that too. But the idea is that you're finding the beat and you're using your full body to play music, okay, with a balanced posture and strong core, like a tree, okay. All right, next step you can leave the monkey on or not, it's up to you. Okay, what we're gonna do to use our bow hand, we need to do some thumb stretches. And what we're gonna do is I'm going to again, scoop like I'm scooping water or goldfish to offer you some. Then I'm gonna bring that bow hand towards my nose so that I should be able to give it a kiss without having to go give it a kiss and fall over. Okay, so my hand is in a very relaxed position without using any of my back power. It's all from my tummy, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna straighten our fingers like we're gonna hang from a monkey bar. Okay, so super straight, soft hand with soft knuckles, like you're hanging, okay? And those are your straight fingers that we want. Then from there, you're gonna bring your dot that we drew earlier 
to your second finger line by thinking, keep my fingers still. Now I have my playing feet, I have my strong body and my balanced head, and I'm just gonna stretch as much as I can without moving my fingers. So no fingers like this, no fingers like this, super soft, straight fingers, where I'm stretching my thumb three times, that's it. Stretch, don't move those fingers, and then we'll release. Now, let those fingers relax just a little bit and stretch your thumb in, and that thumb and your second finger line should connect easily. Give your bow hand a little push on your pinky side, your ulna side, and even without any muscles at all, you should feel a lot of strength, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that our bow soft bunny thumb is again by our face and our nose. You can easily kiss it. And then we're gonna take our violin hand and bring it across on our forearm so you can feel that sharp bone right here. Violin arm stays still. And we're gonna do a little taka, taka, tuck, tuck, just like that. Freeze, don't move. Don't forget your bunny ears. You should have a nice open bunny circle. Here we go. Let's start with a weight. Wait. Tuck, 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 wait. Tuck, 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 little bunny bounces. Tuck, 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 wait. Tuck, 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 shoulders relax. Tuck, 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 freeze. Tuck, 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 wait. 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 One more time. Ooh, can you bend down with the monkey on your head and find your chopsticks? Okay, line those chopsticks up on your bow lines. Angle towards your thumb. Relax your shoulder so you're not reaching and your thumb naturally comes in just like this. Nice and open, super soft thumb, super strong pinky side. Strong pinky side, but you see it's mushy and strong at the same time. Okay, ribs out of tummy. Find your playing feet. Same thing again, and watch your little animal play violin. Here we go. Here we go. Tuck, wait. Sorry, tuck, 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 wait. You're allowed to add the little thumb lifts where you're meet, met with resistance from your second finger as your thumb lifts in, but I would not do that unless your thumb, your, your thumb, unless your thumb tells you to, unless your teacher tells you to. So taka, taka, click, click with a smile. Taka, taka, click, click. Taka, taka, click, click. It actually sounds very nice. Ready? Just like that, okay? But if you're not ready and you can't keep that thumb soft, I would not recommend doing your thumb squeezes yet or your thumb lifts. Lifting that thumb, rather than squeezing them both together, a lift of that thumb towards the second finger, okay? All right, now you can take the last two steps and do them with your violin, okay? Very easily. So let's find our breast position feet. Let's make our ice cream scoop with our violin hand and bend down and pick up our violin by the scroll, or sorry, not by the scroll, by the neck. Good, strings out, violin goes across your body, underneath your bow arm, cross position, just like this. Scroll should be, again, within kissing distance. 
Now find your plank feet. Tail, top of your head, balance. Make your Y, thumb on the back, fingers across the strings. Make your Y, finally goes down on your head if you'd like, down on your shoulder, shake your head no. Up to the sky, nod your head yes. In towards your chest, shake your head no. Stretch that gecko skin. And then find your balanced head. And then think, oh, it's resting on me. Violent hand goes across your body if you'd like, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna introduce our bunny to our violin. And bunny's gonna do a little hops, okay? You can always do this with a box violin if you're not too certain about your hold yet, okay? You can also do this with chopsticks. So half of this I'll do woo, with chopsticks and half of it I'll do with just my bunny. If you really wanna see how many things you can do at once, you can also balance something on your head but if that's too much, then don't do it. This is just how many different layers you can have. Okay, I'm gonna have my chopsticks in my side so I can show you all the different ways you can do this, but you choose one way and stick with it. Okay, here we go. We'll start with a weight. Here's my money. or with your parents. With your bow, they can do my turn and they can do your turn. I'd recommend that step next, but since I don't have a teacher or a parent with me, um, I will just say your turn, <laughs> okay? When it's your turn, all right? And um, you're gonna play only when I say go, all right? And we're gonna start in rest position. Rest position on your mat, violin and bow are nearby. Take a deep breath in. Reach your tail with a strong tree back, itchy knees, sun, and up. Make your ice cream scoop with your violin hand and your bow grabber with your bow hand. Scoop and grab. So it looks like this. Strings out. Violin goes across your body, underneath your bow arm, Tickle that armpit, rest on your ribs, relax your shoulder, and make sure you can kiss your, your pigs, okay? From here, find your playing feet. Sweep your tail. Have a parent or someone help you if you need it. Line up your bow on your bow lines. Relax your arm and thumb wave in to wherever you are supposed to put your thumb and point that bow tip up. No pointer. Make sure you have your playing feet still. Keep that nice loose spine. Make your Y. Touch where your violin is gonna go. It should be underneath your mandible, the corner of your jaw, and resting on your clavicle, your collarbone, so that you can shake your head and nod your head yes without losing contact of that finger here and here. That's where your violin goes, okay? Now make your Y again, thumb on the back, fingers across the strings. Make your Y, violin's a hat, violin goes down on your shoulder, shake your head no, violin goes up towards your sky and into your neck and nod your head yes. And then in towards your chest and your head releases, your spine releases, and you can take your violin hand and bring it across your body to your bow side if you'd like, okay? Make sure you can shake your head and nod your head yes easily with no duck tail. Relax those knees. Pay attention to your bow hand now. Make sure it's nice, straight wrist. No foxes. 
We're going to do a tick, tock, without moving our wrist. I'll show you again. Tick, tock, bow circle, land and stop silently. Ready? Oop, need my phone again. the strings. Make your Y with your bow. Make your Y with your violin. Find your rest position feet. Finally goes across your body underneath your bow arm. Your bow finger, your pointer, can hook into your bow and you can hold it this way. Point your tip down. Take a deep breath in. Strong tree. Release that spine. Reach that dino tail back. And back up. Good job. Thanks for practicing. Mwah.